all of God's qualities, all of the properties, all of his perfections are perfections which exist in mutual relation, right? So love, charity. Love is the embrace of another self by oneself. One seeks totally their good. One is totally concerned and lives totally for them. That's what love is. But God has love and is love from eternity. Now, if there's only one self in God, then it doesn't make sense to speak of him as love from uh, eternity. Um, so the father begets the son and embraces him in love through the spirit. St. Gregory Palamas says that the spirit is like a love of the begetter for the one who is begotten. And what that means is that the spirit proceeds from the father to be the person in whom the father loves the son. And the analogy that I use for this is um, think about the love that a parent and parents have for their children. Both father and mother love their children. Okay, both father and mother love the children. But if father and mother are themselves in a healthy, loving relationship with each other, well, that mutuality, which exists between father and mother, glorifies and multiplies the kind of love that they have for their children. In other words, the father of the family loves their his children with the love which exists between him and his spouse. The mother of the children loves her children with the love that exists between her and her spouse. And so we see that there is a certain kind of quality, a certain kind of perfection, which exists mutually between two persons and then is communicable to a third person. This is what is you know, traditionally called the uh, uh, eternal manifestation um, or the energetic perception.